What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'll be giving you guys a full tour on all the stuff that I have as a chinchilla owner and how I organize it. Now I've always wanted to do a video of an official tour of this area but I've been putting it off because I kept saying to myself this is not good enough but the more I think about it, we're never really going to be happy with our own cage and this is because, well, you're the judge of it and usually we're pretty harsh on ourselves. But on another note, thank you Mickey Mouse for suggesting this idea. If you have a video suggestion that you really want me to do, comment it down below and maybe I'll do it. So how this video is going to work is I'm going to be taking you around this whole area so you can have a look at all Pandora's things. Also, I won't really be going into detail explaining the function of everything, otherwise that'll drag the video on for too long. But if you have any questions, don't be shy and drop them in the comments. With that, let's get straight into the video. So this is what the general area looks like. You walk over here and you have to open the gate to go in. Okay, so this whole area is Pandora's play space. She can run around all over here and hop in her cage whenever she wants to. Okay, first we're gonna be taking a look at this cage. And yes, Pandora is sitting there and being super cute. <laughs> so here is the top of the cage. This is what it sort of looks like. I actually have the fleece liners, which is the red one but this one is just like another piece of fleece that I put on top because I don't know I felt like it um, so as you can see there's a bunch of chew toys I have this one um, most of these are made out of wood this one's like a lava stone these ones used to all be connected in a chain but she like chewed that apart so now it's just separate pieces I just recently bought her more wood so there will definitely be more stuff in here here's a pillow I made it myself, it's pretty easy to make and sometimes she likes to sit on top of here. And looking over here you can see I have my glass water bottle and also the food. It's basically like a china dish and I just have like her pellets in there. Here's a hanging toy I have for her. I have like two of these, the other one as you can tell, she, this used to be over here but she broke it. <laughs> but this is still like intact, this one, because it's, this one is newer. Over here we have a ledge. I don't really like these ones as much because they're kind of thin. But here we have a thicker ledge and it's also way more sturdy. So I like this one a lot more. And then looking up we have this kind of, I don't know what to call it, this, this hanging fleece toy that I made for her. And now I have this ramp here that connects to the top. And this is the highest level of the cage. I have this, um, I think it's a marble slab. It's cool so if she gets hot she can just lay on here. Here we have a hut, it's like her little hiding spot that she can hide in. She really likes to stay up here, especially in the morning. I would say it's probably one of her favorite spots to stay. And on top of the cage, I have these three boxes of treats that I like to give Pandora. In the first one, we have crushed rose hips. The second one is dried rose buds. And the third one is Cheerios. Oh, and if you're wondering, the cage I have is the Critination Model 162. Okay, moving over to the bottom level. The first thing you'll see is this hanging twig thing. These are all apple wood sticks. I made it into this kind of like hanging thing. This toy, it used to be a lot prettier when she hadn't like chewed and destroyed it, but that's okay because that's what the toy's meant for. And looking here, we have this ladder. As you can see, she really loves to chew everything. It's made out of wood. I got it from Petco, this one. I haven't been able to go into the pet store or anything these past couple of months because of COVID-19 but I really want to go into the store soon. And if you look to the left side you see this very very sad hanging toy. It is just one wooden bowl. That's because it used to be bigger but she broke the rest off so now this is all that remains. Okay so now looking here there is this fleece toy. I tied a knot in the middle. She really likes to like try untie this knot and then I'll just tie the knot back. And then this is a wooden hut I got for her from AZ Chins. She uses this to jump up to here to jump up to there. Okay now looking at the back we can see this wheel. This is a 15 inch metal wheel that I got from Pandemonium Pets. If you want to see a review video I have made a video on that. You can click here or I can link it in the description below. Okay, and this right over here is the potty and also the hay. I swear I just filled this hay in the morning, but you know chinchillas, they like to ruin everything. So <laughs> she's taking all the hay out and there's a lot of hay here, but I'll refill this very quickly. And all done. And this is her potty. I usually change it every week or so, so it stays nice and clean. 
and at the bottom of the cage we have this dustpan and also this cat litter that she uses to hop up into the cage okay now that we finished looking at the cage it's time to look at all this stuff that i have laid here for pandora so you might be very curious about what all these are that are lined across here so you can probably read that it says salt water for my aquarium yes i have aquariums and here is a picture of my fish if you're interested <laughs> So these are used to block off the couch because she really loves to run on the, under the couch. It's like her favorite spot, but obviously I don't want her to be under the couch. That's a problem. But don't worry because this lid is shut very tightly. There is no way she can ever get wet from the water inside. Okay, and now on top of this, this is kind of the box that I put random stuff in. Here's a really big pack of Cheerios that's for Pandora. Obviously she only gets one a day. So over here we have these ledges. I've always been meaning to put these in the cage, but I haven't had the chance because it takes so much time to screw these in. Here's a hammock. I don't really have a use for this right now. I guess I could put it like over here, but I've decided against that. Now looking at this cabinet here. Here is Pandora's dust bath and her big pack of food that I feed her every day. But enough of the outside. Let's take a look what's inside. There's nothing in the top just yet, but the second level, we have a lot of toys. That's for Pandora. Um, as you can see, there's a huge variety of toys and whenever she runs out, I just like grab a toy and put it in for her. Okay, moving on to the next one. It's like, it's all my bulk supply stuff. So I won't really go into this level unless I need to like replenish something. The hay cubes, dried rose buds, dried rose hips, wooden bowls, a brush, bamboo finger traps, popsicle sticks, dried papaya, lava chew stones, full rose hips. Okay, and now the last drawer. In here, I keep her hay as well as a bag of volcanic dust. So this is Timothy hay. I got it from AZ Chins. I've actually tried quite a lot of different brands of hay, but this one seems to be her favorite. And now on the left side of this, so this is a bag of hay that I never use. I don't know why it's there. And this is also a bag of hay that I never use. And also in this box, we have this chinchilla dust. And next to that, we have this kitchen scale. Let me turn it on for you. So yeah, I basically use this one to see how heavy Pandora is. And this is an Oxbow Timothy hay mat. I used to have one in the cage, but she completely finished eating that one so I'm probably gonna put this one in very soon and here is just some dirty fleece that I need to wash so ignore that all right guys so that's basically the whole layout I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you still haven't and I'll see you guys in the next one bye